I like the so same. we got those this on. This is a take apart car, and you can like stack these up. And then you just put it on a set finger. This is the iFixer Take Apart Race Car Toy. Yeah. Uh, it's made by iFixer. It is a 31 piece car that you can take apart and kind of kit out with the little kit. So we're going to take a look at it here. Uh, Layton's going to help me. Is that okay? Yeah. Now, one of the, the things I should mention right away, uh, it does come with a drill that's kind of impressive. This detaches, but it uh, looks a lot like a real drill and it has a uh, two direction spin so one way is out one way is in which is great uh, this takes two AA batteries so yeah. you do have to put those in those are don't come with the screw. system the other thing that and here I'll show you we'll disassemble this a lot of times these screws can easily be tightened or loosened with your hand but It's just good to, it's nice having the drill. Do you like the drill, Ethan? Yep. yep. I use everything I like it, but I do it on a microwave. The other part that takes batteries is mm -hmm. this little engine piece. Mm -hmm. um, and this sits right here in the front of the car. Yeah. Turn the, it on. The thing, uh, this has batteries in it. It comes occluded with it. One of the things I don't fully understand is they just kind of tended to randomly make noises and that's what it does and it flashes the lights. Um, and I'm not sure what actually trips it because as you can see it just kind of tends to keep doing it. And you see when the front's on it lights up the headlights. So it just kind of keeps making noise so for the purpose of this video and my sanity we are going to turn that off because there doesn't seem to be a way to control it. Uh, I've looked, I can't really tell. This comes with a couple extra screws and it comes with four extra tires. So these, um, you have this set of tires. Four extra tires, yeah. And you have these set of rims that you can put on there. So we have, oh. we have our tires. And then we also have our body kit pieces. Now there are a few screws so we have a screw on each one of the tires and then we have one on the front and there's also a low rider kit and then you have a screw on the top you have two screws on the back one is for the the topper and that turns it from a convertible into more of a racing car and the other one is for the spoiler that also allows you to take off the body of the car For the body kit on this, there's a couple side pieces, and these you do have to take the body off to put these on. I want to about everything. Yep, See what you, Daddy. Else? Engine! Uh, and this. I need this one too. I need to look more fabric this than before. In, in this topper right here, and it makes it like a waste car if you've seen it. You see that it will take some steering away car, and then there will be a waste car. One of the things occasionally I've noticed is when the drill is going, you let go of it, it just keeps going. Um, so you kind of just have to hit the other direction to make it stop. It doesn't happen a lot, but it does happen. So. And I just like bang it to to like get it off. You do? Yeah. Well, that doesn't sound very nice. Just don't break it, right? Yeah. It's very good automatically. So there we have the race car model. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we can even we'll, we'll swap out one of the tires real quick. Yeah. Or do you want to do it? Um, you can do it if you want. Okay. These tires. One, two, three, four. Four tires. Oh, good job. So the tires go right on there. Yeah. And, and then you, you wanna... screw them back on, but they get stuck a little. Is that true, Daddy? No, I don't think they get stuck. As long as you screw them on right. But they get 
stuck every time and I have to take off the cover, but I just shake it. So looking at the car, uh, overall, some of the cons I have, there's first of all, the uh, the noise, the way the engine makes the noise is a, it, it's, it just isn't really good. You have to, you have to take off the hood and so you have to take two of the red screws out in order to access it and then you flip the switch on the bottom and it doesn't seem to be controlled, it just keeps going, going, going. I don't know if that's a defect, but there doesn't seem to be anything on the car that you can push to start it. Um, so it, it looks like it's just manufactured to just kind of go and go and go, and it's an annoying sound. So unfortunately, the sound, the lights, that doesn't work as well as it probably should, right? Would you agree? Mm, you already said that it, 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 it turns off, did you? Yes. The... The other negative I have about the car is um, it's not it's not necessarily a negative overall with the product, um, but I have noticed that sometimes she tightens the the screws a little too tight, and then the drill won't work to get it off. Um, most of the time, it will start going, but this drill isn't super powerful, so. Uh, which is a good thing for safety, but there are times that the screws get a little too tight and they won't come off. Yeah. Those are really my two main cons about it. Everything else is uh, is pretty much a pro. I mean, there's a uh, there's a couple things that you know it's a little annoying to have to take the screws all the way out to get to, but but that's not bad. And um, Layton's had a lot of fun with it, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite part? Um, about the school and. And the tires. And you like the drill that actually works? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you've been able to do this all by yourself. You've taken it apart all by yourself. You've put it together all by yourself. Yep. Yep. And, I, and we drive it. But, but when I drive it too fast, the wheels come off. Right. So if you don't tighten the wheels all the way in the screws, and that's something that uh, we've noticed a little bit because... Sometimes when, uh, and the screws don't get all the way in, like this one isn't all the way in right now, um, if they're not all the way in and you're driving it back and forth, the bolts tend to come loose. And so it's always good to tighten until you hear the click. And then you know that the wheels are adequately tightened. Mm -hmm. And they zoom very quick. Yep. Wait, Daddy? Yeah. So there it is. This is the iFixer Take Apart Car. Uh, it's a 31-piece car toy. It comes with, uh, essentially you have two different car variations. So you have the, the kitted out race car uh, with the special uh, rims. You have the normal rim car, the convertible top, that's just the blue car. Uh, mm. And it, it comes with an electric drill. It does have lights and sound, but yeah. I am not going to sell you on that because, as you saw, it just they, they don't work as well as they probably should have. I would have liked if there was a button or something to make the sound go, uh, but it just kind of constantly goes. So my recommendation is just to leave those off and yeah. not worry about the sound. Mm -hmm. um, but overall, that shouldn't detract you from buying it because you're buying it for the experience of taking the car apart and putting it back together. And mm -hmm. it, this is rated for ages 3 and up. How old are you, Layton? Mm. One, two, three, four. That's right. Layton is four, and she's able to take it apart and put it back together with no problem. So as far as a kid's toy goes, I think this is a definite win, and you, you can't really go wrong with it, especially uh, if you have a kid that likes having their own drill and playing along. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so this is a great little toy to pick up, and I do recommend it. Do you recommend it? Is it good or bad? Mm, good. Good. Good job. Do you want to say anything else before we go? Uh, that the car works and it's a metal brick toy and it does everything that I say. Cool. All right. 